Hello everyone, I'm talking a little bit quietly because Eric is in the next room, in our room, having a nap and I don't want him to wake up while I'm making this video um, so I have to speak a little bit quietly so you might have to turn the volume up a little bit and um, excuse the background we're trying to sort out Eric's playroom we've just got him some new furniture from Ikea and we're trying to sort out all his toys so it's a big mess but the reason why I'm making this video is for two reasons number one is because I haven't made a video in about two months and the second reason why I'm making this video is because I wanted to tell you something you probably have guessed by now but if not Um, we are having another baby and the baby is due on May the 5th and I am about 16 weeks pregnant when I film this video. But I feel like I've known about this baby since ever ever. I found out really early and I haven't been not telling anyone because, um, like, because I didn't want anyone to know really because it hasn't been like that it's been more like it's really hard to explain but i've had a lot of anxiety about this pregnancy and i really didn't want to have all the hoo-ha and like the celebration because I, I was just trying to deal with my own emotions at the time and also it was just before eric's birthday and the 12 week scan was on the i think it was the 24th of October and his third birthday is the 26th of October and I really didn't want everything like all the attention to be taken off Eric and it to be turned into the baby and this pregnancy because he is more important at this moment than time than the 12 week scan um, I hope that makes sense like obviously the baby is still very important but I didn't want his birthday to become unimportant because of the scan so I didn't want to tell anyone at 12 weeks and also at that time I wasn't feeling ready to tell anyone um, it took me a while to like accept it in a way um, and sort of like relax into it because I had a really bad time with Eric um, the pregnancy was great the pregnancy was amazing but from the very beginning with Eric I felt like I needed to tell the world that I was pregnant and that's just what I wanted to do and I did I don't know if anyone follows me from Instagram but I used to be on Instagram a couple of years ago like nothing to do with blogs or anything and I used to post like weekly updates on Instagram with a picture of the bump growing and I just was really honest and open and public about it which is fantastic and it was just something I really enjoyed but this time I haven't I didn't want to do anything about it I didn't want to do anything like that and I didn't have the confidence at the beginning to sit down and tell anyone even like family to sit down and talk about it because I got a lot of fear back from what happened with Eric um, like I was saying like the pregnancy went really well but it all went horrible at the end and I have a lot of trauma about what happened I don't really want to talk about it at the moment but it's took me a while to like get around that I don't want to cry in this video so that's just to one side so that's why I haven't been able to talk about it but I feel like it's time now and I'm glad that I've like I've been able to put myself first rather than other people for once because I usually always think about everyone else before myself and I thought at the beginning of this pregnancy oh no I will have to tell everyone and slowly every week I was thinking how am I going to tell everyone I don't want to tell X but I have to tell X and what are they going to think if I don't tell them and then I was thinking why am I so bothered about what other people think when really it comes down to me and it comes down to my mental health at this point and the baby and um, Ollie has been really supportive and he's been really gentle with it all and he's sort of said to me look the most important thing at this time is you and I will wait until you are ready. In the meantime, it can just be something that we know and you don't have to worry about what other people think and please don't stress about telling people, which makes so much sense because I didn't want to stress about telling people when really it doesn't matter. I mean, I can tell people when I want, it's my body and it's our baby. So we came to the conclusion and the agreement that we weren't going to tell anyone until I felt comfortable about it and I'm, I'm feeling okay now. 16 weeks and it's only a few weeks until the next scan 
and things have been going well um, and now I feel like I want to share a bit more about it. I'm getting more excited now which is good as well. So now I've like told you the news I thought I would talk a bit more about like this pregnancy in general because it's been completely different than the first one. So if you have your first child and you're thinking about getting pregnant or you're wondering what it's like when you've already been pregnant or what it's like when you're pregnant with your second um, then yeah keep watching because I'll talk about everything what I've been through. It's been really interesting, strange and a lot different from the first time. Um, first I'll tell you how I found out. So how I found out. We made quite a quick decision that we were going to try for another baby. I was always in the, I, I always had this idea that we were going to wait a long time to try for another one because I found it really hard like in the last few years with Eric, especially like in the two year bit was like really hard for me to deal with Eric and it just was like I just went through a hard time in general so I've not been so great the last year or so and thinking about throwing in another baby was just bizarre to me I knew I was not ready mentally physically the family wasn't ready everything like that but then over time like things have just been getting better like things have just been improving and I think it yeah it was just time I think and I think my body like told me as well that I was ready and I was thinking about it and I didn't want to have babies like too far apart from each other because I'm 27 and I just don't want to be like I don't want to offend anyone by saying old because that's not what I mean at all but I still want to have like a lot of time after I've had babies if that makes sense um yeah I just wanted to still be young when I've sort of had the babies if that makes sense um, I actually wanted a first child a bit younger than I was with Eric so yeah we just decided that it was time and it happened very very fast um, it sort of was the same situation as the very first time I got pregnant which was a bit worrying because the first pregnancy I had a miscarriage so because it happened so fast like the first one I was worried I was going to have a miscarriage so that wasn't good because I was worrying about that um, but yeah it was sort of like the second cycle or maybe the first even, I used some ovulation sticks because I've used those before. I like to sort of like be in control of it in a sense, like I'm not the sort of person that can just be like, oh, like let's try and get pregnant and see what happens. That gives me anxiety, like I have to know what's happening um, and I like to know my body as well. I'm very in tune with my body, so I knew when I was ovulating, so I took an ovulation stick for sort of confirmation that I was. Um, we did the baby dance, did the deed or whatever you want to call it and then a few days later I had a feeling that I was pregnant and I know that just seems bizarre but it is, it's very bizarre. Um, and then a couple of days after that, so I'd say this was about a week after ovulation, I was laid in bed and I felt really dizzy and I had a feeling I was pregnant. So I took an ovulation stick because in the past I've took these as pregnancy tests. I'm not going to say to you that they work by the way because like I'm not a doctor but when I was pregnant with Eric they always came up positive when I was pregnant with him. Um, obviously I was not ovulating because I was pregnant and I didn't have any pregnancy tests in the house. So I used an ovulation stick and it had a line. And I was sort of like, oh my goodness me, even though I had a feeling I was pregnant, it's just that confirmation, isn't it? And I was like, oh God, like, have we done the right thing? And I was a little bit scared, to be honest. Um, and yeah, and that was it really. And then a few days after that, I, we were in Sainsbury's and I bought a pregnancy test. And Ollie was sort of like, I think we should wait a little bit longer because your period's not due for a while. It was still like a week to my period. Um, but I took the pregnancy test that morning and lo and behold it was positive. It was really strange actually because I sort of was like, Ollie, I'm going to take the test and then like, I went and took the test and I wanted to know first so I was all waiting for it to become positive and it was positive and then I came in here because Ollie was playing with Eric and I was like, there you have it, I'm pregnant and it was just a really different experience than when I got pregnant with Eric because we'd been trying for so long and after a loss as well it was like such a relief whereas this time there was like no relief in a way it was more surprise so it was a completely different experience finding out this time 
and ever since then honestly time has just flown by it's completely different with a second everything about this pregnancy has been completely different like mentally physically symptoms the pregnancy itself has been completely different with the preg compared to the pregnancy with eric and we've just me and ollie have just dealt with it and felt a lot different than we did with eric i guess that's always going to happen with a second but i didn't know what to expect and how i was going to feel so it's really interesting to find out in a way and if you felt the same as well if you have another you've had multiples or you're pregnant with your second further on than I am let me know how you felt when you found out um, and if it was a lot different than your first because I'm interested to know other people's experiences we'll move on to symptoms symptoms this time have been 100% different I got sick in my last pregnancy with Eric from six weeks and I didn't really stop being sick until about 23 24 weeks and I was sick all day long. I was sick from morning until night and then during the night as well and it was miserable. And at one point all I could eat were ice lollies. But this time has been so strange because I didn't feel any any nausea at all until like seven weeks or eight weeks and then it was only really minor in the morning um, and I've been sick like maybe four times and it was a case of like, oh, I feel sick. I was sick and then I felt fine. That never happened with Eric. So in a way it was really easy compared to like the pregnancy with the early pregnancy with Eric. But because I felt so good in a way, I didn't feel as sick. I was really worried that it wasn't a successful pregnancy. And getting from like when I found out to the 12 week scan was really difficult. And I sort of set myself up to find out that the pregnancy was unsuccessful. And I was thinking, I'm going to go to this scan, thinking that I've been pregnant for 12 weeks when actually it died. Um, it, so that it was really hard, like waiting all that time with Eric. We had an early scan because I'd had a miscarriage before and I started to get spotting as well. So we knew at seven weeks with Eric that there was a baby in there and there was a heartbeat, whereas this time we were just waiting. And I was so nervous. Um, I've been gone off a lot of food, like a lot of my favourite food I can't eat anymore. I've got a really strong scent and like I smell things that other people can't smell. That's the same as pregnancy was with Eric. Um, last time I like had a massive aversion to bananas. I haven't got it this time but this time I've completely gone off wraps and wraps used to be one of my most favorite foods I used to eat them at least once a day like you know just a savory wrap with like fillings I can't eat it at all like, I can't even bite into it now without it making me sick and I don't know what it is because all the individual ingredients I really like but I can't eat the wrap so I've gone off that and I've gone off a lot of food as well my appetite's really strange I've been really tired, especially in early pregnancy, um, but it was like, it was nothing compared to the first time and that was even with a toddler this time to look after as well. I, th I don't know if I've just been lucky this time or, you know, pregnancy is different, but it's been quite easy in a way, um, yeah, compared to last time. A few times I was like, oh my god, I can't do this and I'm so tired, like I've made the wrong decision because I've got a toddler to look after. But then like the next day I felt okay. About eight, nine weeks, I did have a week where I was really ill, but I don't know if I was ill or if I just had a week where all like the bad pregnancy symptoms came together in one week. But if it did, I'm very happy that it was just that one week and then it went because now I don't have to deal with it. But I even had to like get my mum to come and look after me because I felt that bad and that never happens. And I felt really bad as well asking her to come and look after me when it should be the other way around. But I just couldn't function and like every time I stood up I felt really dizzy, um, really sick and I was just, yeah, it was a horrible week. I even had to get Ollie to come back early from work and that never happened. I was like texting him saying you need to somehow get off work and come home because I'm dying. Um, and I don't, I still don't know if it was pregnancy or if it was like flu or something. I don't know. But then sort of like nine weeks, I was fine again. I haven't been sick in ages. I rarely feel sick anymore. Some nights I feel really tired when it gets to like seven o'clock and I'm like, oh my God. And a few times I've fallen asleep with Eric at night as well. 
it's been really hard to keep it a secret in terms of like blog stuff because I felt really unmotivated to like make any videos. I've been really unmotivated and boring, I feel in general. I've not been able to do half as much as I used to do before, like go out with Eric, take him on all these day trips. I've just had like, I just felt really boring. It's not even been something, I don't think it's been related to tiredness really. It's like, I feel so lazy. That's the only way I can describe it. Like, I am more than happy to just sit on the sofa all day and that is not like me at all. Um, so a couple of times like I haven't been able to go to certain things because I thought I was just going to sit there and be like I'm so tired and boring that's the thing that like, I've just been feeling boring for the last like couple months and when I have like met people or like when I've been going to see friends or gone on a day gone on a day out with people I've had to really try to talk and be normal and be interesting because I just to be honest, like, I just wanted to get home and that is not like me at all. So that is one complete difference um, compared to my usual self is that I've just been feeling really lazy and really tired in the early evenings. Whereas usually before pregnancy, I used to stay up late and do lots of work in the evening once Eric had gone to bed. I actually found out I was pregnant before Never Grow Up and obviously that like I was so busy with the event and... I was actually feeling sick like all day at the event as well so that was really hard <laughs> to not tell anyone and I was actually in the kitchen at one point um, like really like at the end of the event when everyone was tidy up, tidying up and everything and I hadn't eaten any, eaten anything all day apart from like a cupcake or something because we'd been really busy and I felt so sick and I felt really tired as well and I just really wanted to go home um, and someone also commented and was like why did you just stand in the kitchen talking to people when all of us were tidying up and I couldn't just tell her like I am pregnant and I feel vile right now I just need five minutes because I didn't want anyone to know that early um so that like that was one thing that were difficult at the very beginning but then once that event was over it was like oh right I don't have anything where I need to be around lots of people at once um so it'll be fine I don't think I've been gaining any weight I haven't really been getting any other things to tell you other than I've been getting a lot of spots um, I've suffered from acne since I was about 11, um, but it's definitely gone more like a chin and under here I've had like acne blisters. I don't know if, you, if you've had acne before, but it's really not nice and they've been really painful. But yeah, I feel pretty normal to be honest. Um, it feels really strange sometimes because I forget that I'm pregnant, whereas with Eric it was like my whole life changed as soon as I found out and it was just pregnancy, pregnancy, pregnancy constantly in my mind and this time has been completely different. Um, I don't know if it's because life has to continue as normal and obviously life is very much about Eric so I, I sort of don't have time to think about it this time um, and I do feel really guilty sometimes already that I forget because with Eric I was so focused on the pregnancy and every week I did like an update on my Instagram and a bump picture um, that was way before anything to do with blogs uh, and this time I just I don't want to say it feels like my heart's not in it because that just feels really bad but I had I told Ollie as about it as well I was like I'm just not feeling excited at the moment and I had a little cry about it I don't know what it is I don't know if it's because I've got all this anxiety we'll talk, try and talk about later or if it's just because I'm busy so I don't really have time to like sit and think about pregnancy for five hours like last time so this pregnancy I've had a lot of anxiety from the very beginning um, like I touched on before about I was a bit scared about telling people and I started thinking about being worried about what other people were going to think because I didn't want to tell people so that was like messing up my head because I felt guilty already about not telling people and just caring too much about what other people think and I also have been having a lot of fear about it because um, I don't really want to talk about it too much because I don't want to cry on camera but I had a really really good pregnancy with Eric, it, like, it was the best experience of my life and hypnobirthing and birth at pool and we were going to have a home birth, everything was perfect until the end and I got preeclampsia and it just went horrible. Um, so this time I've been feeling a lot of 
tension and fear and anxiety and uh, I'm also under consultancy leg care because of what happened last time because it, it was not good. So that's been giving me a lot of fear, like even to go to the hospital for the 12 week scan I thought I was going to be sick because I was like anxious and like seeing the doctor, um, like I nearly started crying in the room and I had to tell them to stop reading out some notes from, pregnant, uh, from birth with Eric because they were trying to find it on the computer, basically my notes were missing um, but they have some on the computer that were scanned in and they were sort of like scrolling down the computer and like reading out snippets and it like my hands went all clammy and I thought I was gonna faint and I had to tell them to stop and she was sort of like really understanding and she said that I need to go to the afterthought service which I've never been able to do yet so we'll see how that goes I'm feeling a little bit better then sorry it cut off then because the card was full but I've made a little bit room and the but the battery's flashing as well so I better be quick where were we yeah um about symptoms and anxiety and stuff so I do feel a little better about it now, that's why I'm able to like an announce it and make it like public. But I was even scared about talking to family about it because I, I've been feeling like I can't actually physically talk about it. And also I've been feeling like I don't want people to say like, oh congratulations and oh this is an amazing time because I've got so much like going on in my head. And you know when you, you're feeling, it's like you know when you're feeling really sad. Or you're like you're crying and then someone comes up to you and like pats you and says oh you're having a bad day and it makes you feel worse that's like what i've been feeling about it so that's sort of why i didn't want anyone to know because i didn't want lots of hoo-ha when i was like trying to deal with how i felt about it anyway and also i had a lot of feelings in general because it was eric's third birthday on the 26th of october and the 12 week scan was on the 24th of october and it was like a few days to his birthday and I was really worried that it was we were going to go to the scan and they were going to give us some really bad news and I didn't want to tell anyone around his birthday because I didn't want his birthday to turn into this like really bad thing when I really wanted to celebrate his birthday and I have like a lot of anxiety about his birthday anyway because it always makes me think of his birth and what happened Oh, so like I've just had so much on my mind and it's just been really like it's just been hard and it's been it's difficult to explain and talk about it when I'm figuring it out for myself as well so we'll see I really hope that I'm able to go and talk to someone about it I've actually cancelled an appointment the other day because I wasn't able to go I was too scared it's next week so we'll see um yeah let's move on to something more positive so with Eric we didn't find out the gender and this time we are this time the pregnancy is completely different yeah and this time i feel like it has to this pregnancy i need to make it as different as possible so that i don't have i don't compare it to the pregnancy with eric because that's the only way i'm going to be able to deal with it and especially deal with the birth as well so one way of like making it completely different is finding out the gender and we're, we're going to find out and of, at first I was like no I don't want to know like with Eric I was so headstrong with it I was like I would not find out it's an amazing surprise and I would like a surprise again but I can't I feel like I can't do it and because like the birth with Eric was like it was taken away from me in a way I didn't find out his gender the way I wanted to find out so I feel like it was ruined in a way so this time I feel like if I find out and we know anyway that's one less thing that has to be taken away I know that sounds really depressing but trust me I think I know what I'm talking about so we're gonna find out and I don't know if I'm gonna tell anyone um want to um, so I'm just going to see how it goes, I think it's a girl but who knows, like I thought it was a girl with Eric and then a boy came out so I don't know. This pregnancy has been completely different so I'm like sort of thinking it's a girl but then I don't really believe in the whole like symptom relating to gender so you, you, you can be the judge of things. Um, the scan went well, everything was fine, the baby was super active and it was like rolling over and we could see all its back and it was so cute. Um, the scan is here, it's not a good picture at all because the baby was moving around. Hopefully we'll get a better picture at 20 weeks but there it is, the baby. 
And yeah, so I think it's a girl, but we'll see. Eric's really excited. He knows what's going on and he like he likes to stroke my belly and he says he wants to stroke the baby when it comes out. And it's been really cute to see him bond with it already. So I'm just like, fingers crossed that he stays like this because I'm really worried about him and the baby. Just two things. I'll show the developing bump in a minute. But then next thing, do you want to see like more pregnancy videos? I don't want to turn this... I don't want to turn my blog or anything into like a, a, a parenting pregnancy thing. That's just not me and that's not what Trips With A Tot is about. Pregnancy is completely different and last time I didn't have a blog, I didn't make videos. You know, life's completely different and I'm very happy to um, make videos about it and I think it'll be quite interesting as well for me to sort of look back on and it might help my anxiety. So let me know if you'd like to see like updates or just something specific you'd like me to talk about. You might know that I breastfed Eric for a very long time, for three years. He's always been breastfed and we've had a really good breastfeeding relationship, but I'm really like sad, I guess, to announce that he's like not breastfeeding anymore. And it's happened really suddenly and it must just be pregnancy because he would not go off it like that. Like we still bed share and um, like sling and everything, like nothing else has changed apart from the breastfeeding. And he basically just pulled off one day and said it's not working. And I was like, oh my goodness me. Um, it's been fine, like, you know, the end is the end. And I am glad that it's happened naturally and I've not had to like wean him off because I was always worried about what I was gonna do about that. Because in my head, I always thought, I'm gonna just wait until he's ready to come off. But he got like a little bit like obsessed with it at the end. Um, I don't know, maybe he was psychic and he knew that it was getting to the end. That's why he got a bit like, to, like wait. I don't know, but I started feeling quite touched down. So in a way, I am glad that the end has been natural rather than forceful. Um, and it's been like mutual as well, but I just have such an aversion at the moment. And like he still gets a lot of uh, like affection to the boobs, obviously. That's all he's known and I'm quite happy to give him that because that's all he knows and I don't want to like cut him off but it just like makes my skin crawl but like I said like if you want me to make a video on it then let me know I'm definitely happy to talk about that and I think that's it isn't it so I will show you the belly I don't really think I look pregnant so don't expect to see this massive belly I don't know maybe and now I've told everyone and it's becoming public, maybe in the morning I'll wake up and have a massive belly. Who knows? But um, quickly, this is one of my favourite tops. It's by Stylish Mum and it's a breastfeeding friendly top. Um, even though I'm not really breastfeeding anymore, I absolutely love it. It's so comfortable. Um, I definitely recommend it. It's very flattering. I love rainbows. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely be getting a lot more of these clothes with the second baby because Stylish Mum wasn't around when I had Eric. But yeah, so I'll stand up and see see if I can show you. I don't know if, I, if I'll be able to show you with this camera. I'll just have to put it back a bit. Sorry for the mess. That looks, that's what it looks like from the front. And that's what it looks like from the side. And yeah, um, but it really feels good to be able to sit down and talk about it and it's really helped with like getting a lot of feelings out. So thank you so much for listening. Um, thank you so much to everyone who commented on the post that I posted on Eric's birthday or the day before about how I feel about his birthday because it was really hard for me to write that but I was just feeling so crap and I'm so sick of like keeping it in all the time. I really need to try and like heal from these bad feelings and these negative feelings and it really helps me to talk. I can't talk about things face to face, like I can't go to afterthoughts or you know meet up with someone and talk about it, but I can talk about it on camera. But I'm alright with that, you know, if that's going to be the only thing at the moment that I'm able to do but it helps then that's, that's what I might have to do. And the last thing I wanted to mention was like relating to symptoms is feeling the baby move. This is completely different um, to anything I've experienced before because in my last pregnancy I had an anterior placenta which is when the placenta is on the front 
Um, so it's like a huge cushion and I didn't feel Eric kick really until like 22, 23 weeks. Um, I was just waiting and waiting and I couldn't feel anything and then when I did feel something it didn't feel huge to like say he was 20, 23 weeks at the time and didn't really see him move or anything like that. You know like you see videos of like the baby in the belly and like the baby's moving around like that never happened to me and I definitely didn't feel anything early. Whereas this time I've already felt the baby move and I felt the baby move quite early and didn't know if it was the baby or not because it was like, it was like 12 weeks or maybe even a little bit earlier. Um, and I thought, gosh, this is really early and compared to when I felt Eric move, I just thought it can't be. But it is like, it feels similar to what I felt with, with Eric when he was like 20 weeks, like a tiny baby. Um, and I've been feeling it more at night when I'm on my side. And it, yeah, it's just really strange feeling it this early. I've definitely felt more in the last like three weeks to anything. But when I had the scan and the, the baby was moving about loads in the scan, like on its back, on its side, they couldn't really do the measurements properly because it was moving so much. And when they moved the scan off, I could feel it wriggling around. When I look down, that's what I can see. And it's really different with Eric because at 16 weeks with Eric, I didn't look like this. I did look smaller um, and it wasn't hard, whereas now I feel like it's really hard. I don't know. So it's a lot different this time, feeling the baby move. And it's definitely very exciting to feel it move as well. I don't have an anterior placenta this time. She had a quick look on the scan at 12 weeks. And I was so relieved because um, I really just wanted to feel this baby a lot earlier this time. I already feel the baby. It's very exciting. And yeah, I just want to quickly end this video because I didn't get to say bye in the last one because the camera went off. I drained all the battery by talking so much. But thank you so much for watching this if you did. I'm very excited to like share this journey um, with you all. It's going to be crazy to think that, you know, like all our trips and holidays and everything, there's going to be a baby. But I'm very excited because... Um, I didn't start my blog until Eric was about a year so like the whole first year was just I didn't document it or anything and I'm really excited to do it again but this time like have you with me and like show you all the places I really like to go last time when Eric was a baby so I'm very excited about it of course I'm nervous about how life's going to change but that's just the way it is it's going to change that's inevitable so yeah, I'll definitely end this video here. Thank you very much for watching. And definitely please, please like this video and comment down below as well with anything I've said that you have in common. Please let me know if you're pregnant as well and due around the same time as me. I'm due on the 5th of May. It'd be amazing if we could have like a little group of people, maybe in a separate group that are due around the same time and we could maybe meet up um, and like have a little group. So definitely let me know what you think. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Thank you for watching.